in my family, the Marcus is, the, the, my mom's side, has a big Thanksgiving. And we all get together. It used to be over at Grandma and Grandpa's and later on it was my aunt who was the matriarch. But it was every uncle and every aunt and every cousin that I ever knew or met or thought I might be related to. We were all sitting around, plus, you know, whatever extended family members might be. That was the big deal. And so I was dating my first high school sweetheart, true sweetheart. And you know the way it is. It's, it's a little bit like, you know, it's a little bit like a prom. You know, it's like whatever she wants is what she gets because you're dating. But my girlfriend was really sensitive to it and really liked my family. They liked her. And so she was part of the big celebration. But on this particular Thanksgiving, my father it, uh, and his very dysfunctional wife called me up and said, we're all going to go to the ambassador for Thanksgiving. And to me, this seems really exotic. I mean, you know, you're going to go to like a hotel for Thanksgiving. And so, um, so okay, fine. And in those days, even though we were still hippies, we dressed up. So I was wearing a coat and tie, my girlfriend was wearing a skirt and heels. And we got there at the appointed time. I, you know, rested permission from my mother. And we thought, okay, fine, make the best of it. It's so rare that my father was ever going to do anything like that. Because his wife was kind of wackadoo, and so they, they always kind of undermined the holidays, you know. But it's like, okay, fine, we're there. And they're late, which was just no big surprise, right? And so we're walking around the hotel, you know, a couple of 16-year-old kids, we're looking for a place to make out. <laughs> but there was, a, there was a whole lot going on in the hotel. It was Thanksgiving night. And there was this big party going on. And it was a uh, uh, band playing, and they were playing big band music, you know, like like a blue, like moon, moon, uh, uh, for moon or moon. I want to say uh, moon moonlight serenade. Oh yeah, moonlight like serenade. <laughs> and I'd always, you know, mom always talked about, you know, the old days, going to the Palladium, and seeing Harry James, and, and you know, uh, the Dorseys and Frank Sinatra. And, and stuff like that, you know. And now, my dad's side, because I was either in East LA in one room apartment with my mom and my kid brother, or I was in the biggest housing window with my dad. And so she was always trying to like get over. So she had sent us, me and my stepbrother, to Cotillion's, my dad's wife. So I knew how to dance. I knew how to box that. I had good manners. So, this music is playing, we kind of slept in through, snuck in through the, uh, yet another Freud incident. Um, <laughs> uh, we, we snuck in through the, through the French doors, you know, this big ballroom and the ambassador. And the big band was playing and the lights and the whole thing. And even though we were a couple of hippies, it was like, come on, let's dance. And we danced, we did, we did, we did Foxtrot and everything else. And it was this big band music. And it was really enchanting. It was like, we had stepped into this time machine. So by that point, but you know, and, and it was, we did that for about a half an hour because I knew my dad was going to be at least an hour late. And walked around the place and, and it's funny because my relationship with the hotel was my mother on the phone telling me that Bobby had been shot in the head. And so here I was six months later, you know, in a completely surreal environment. It was a trip. And then they arrive and we go to the Coconut Grove, which was the place that was there, which was done with this very tropical, you know, palm trees and coconuts. And, and it was Don Ho. Now, Don Ho's cool, but I mean, you know, thanks, what, what doesn't say Thanksgiving like, you know, Hawaiian barbecue? But actually, it was the Don Ho show with uh, 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 a, a turkey dinner with all the fixings. And it was, it was just this very odd, surreal kind of, it was a mix of, but it was fabulous food, and Don Ho put on this great show. And I mean, you know, I'm 16 years old, but you got the, 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 the this brown skin, beautiful, semi-naked women coming out and shaking and dancing and things. <laughs> and then you got the guys with the thing and they're, fly, they're lighting the homish gas, you know. And then you got the comedians with the ukulele and the, it was incredible. It was incredible. But the whole experience was totally surreal because it was at the Ambassador, which had such elegance. I mean, we would, I give my dad credit for this, which was that we would get dressed up and they would take us down to Restaurant Row in those days, Taylor the Cock, um, uh, 
uh, Chasen's, uh, Perino's. And these were all inside of the hotel? No, these were all very famous restaurants up in Del Mosher Boulevard. Okay. And we had to learn how to, you know, what fork and knife to use, how to speak to the sommelier, uh, the whole thing. It was all about preparing us for a formal education of manners. And so I've been exposed to some of these places. You know, we had spent the weekend in the Hotel Del Mar. So I could see the relative elegance of the ambassador was quite something at the top of my experience. And then dancing like if it was the 1940s, and then having turkey dinner with Don Ho, and enjoying myself, it was really just a crazy experience. That is my ambassador hotel arc.